Hey guys. hey guys! I know we haven't been posting much lately, and in this video, we're gonna cover why and explain what's coming in the future. A couple of months ago, we posted a video explaining that 2022 wasn't really our best year. We had a couple of deaths in my family, as well as a bunch of moving around the country, and things didn't really work out the way we had hoped. So to fast forward a little bit, we've made it back to Texas. We're at Dinosaur Valley RV Park, which I know we've mentioned many times in previous videos. It's kind of our second home. We've been here for almost three months now, but a lot has been going on in those three months. So we've been trying to juggle work at the RV Park, our own personal lives, as well as a bunch of transitions that we've been going through for at least the last two months. Sasha and I have been on the road for what? Three and a half years? Yeah, something like that. And after all the stuff that we went through in the last year, we've decided that it's time for us to settle down a little bit and kind of get back to that feeling of having a home. We definitely had a ton of fun traveling from state to state and seeing all of these beautiful areas, but deep inside, we still wanted to have some stability and, and have a home base. Previously, we mentioned that we were looking for setting up a home base in Arizona, which unfortunately just didn't work out. Uh, we, we've always felt like Texas it was very close to what we've always wanted. The only thing that was lacking for us is really the scenery and the landscape, which we can definitely live without. Uh, Texas is really beautiful with beaches and Big Bend National Park, which has been one of our favorite parks so far. Also, Caprock Canyons. It's a really beautiful state. We love it here. And like we said in the previous video, it really has a lot to do with, there's just a lot of resources here. It's a very robust economy. Um, there's plus, tons of businesses. Plus, since 2020, we were able to establish really nice relationship with the owners of Dinosaur Valley RV Park. <laughs> oh, that's right. We have our, <laughs> our oh, yeah, we have our hats and everything on. Um, they're really nice people. Coming back here was definitely a very exciting thing for us because we were already knowing what to look forward to. So we still want to travel, we still want to go truck camping. I guess after three and a half years, we've, we've reached the new chapter in our lives yeah. and we're, we're trying to put down some roots yeah. so that we can start moving forward. Maybe yeah. having a family and things like that in the not too distant future. Yeah, that's the plan. So we can't just go from full-time nomads to owning a house like that. For the last six months or so, we have been looking at buying a house or getting an apartment, something along those lines. But right now the housing market is still doing something it tends to be going down and we're not ready to buy yet we we need some more time before we're ready to buy a house and we definitely did not want to do an apartment we thought mm -hmm. about it but that wasn't really what we wanted to do no. we really really like our setup here at dinosaur valley rv park we like the fact that we can work when we have free time some days we work a full day sometimes we just work a couple hours yeah we also love the fact that we have the great hot tub the pool the river the state park is next to us so yeah. we have lots of recreation it's quiet it's comfortable it's a great place to live we really loved our setup here at dinosaur valley rv park but the only thing that was really missing for us is more, more space. space so, so we, we bought a fifth wheel the fifth wheel will be our home base but we're still gonna continue traveling. Back in the summer, we bought a cargo trailer to transport our stuff from my sister's house in New Hampshire to wherever we landed to be our home base. So actually just today, we were able to clean that out and put a lot of it into storage. Now, after almost four years on the road, we have a place to store all of our stuff and start a new life. But it doesn't mean that we're done with truck camping. But before we get into all of that, we wanna give you a quick tour of our new fifth wheel. So we are in the living room slash kitchen area. And since we got a toy hauler, the kitchen area with the living room are kind of combined. So there's slightly less space for both kitchen and the living room. But what we're really excited about is our recliners. This couch reclines, the whole thing reclines. This is so nice. Huh? Oh, now it's my turn. Definitely one of the, the main considerations we had when we were looking for at least a new fifth wheel was we wanted to have enough space to relax. Yeah. In our series, we had our bed, our chairs, and some size floor. So not a ton of um, surfaces. So it's really nice to just have a place where, you know, I'm not ready for bed, but I just kind of want to recline and relax. Yeah. This is so much more comfortable. We have room on the floor to do yoga. We have a lot of space and yeah. we have a bigger everything. All right, so over here we have a kitchen area. We have a microwave, which is also a convection oven. We have a regular oven, which is also a huge plus for us. Um, oh, and it has, it has fancy blue lights. Yeah, look, look at, at that. that. Yay! <laughs> fancy. 
Uh, we also have a three burner stove. We used to have two burner stove in our series, so this is an improvement. Um, we also have a large, it's still an RD fridge, but it's a normal size fridge. This, this helps us buy stuff in bulk. Something else we really wanted to do with traveling full time, it makes it hard to cook food in bulk. So mm. now the plan is to get like a, what, not, not an air fryer. Um, Instapot. Yeah, we'll get like an Instapot or a crock pot and we can make up like a week's worth of something. Soups super. and chilies, yeah. So and nice. then now we have a place to store it. Whereas before we really couldn't, so we were cooking every day. Yeah. Which is, it's nice because we're really busy. If we can prepare food ahead of time, then we can have a couple days without having to cook. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we really love the fact that we have really, really tall ceilings here. Yeah, I feel like in really this series, tall. it was like a box, a small box. I mean, it's very difficult to live in a rather confined space full time and also work together, live together, you know, do everything together. So I feel like now with this space, it's just so much more open and feels like it's like we have more air. It's, I don't know, a lot more liberating. And the big thing is, is when we were traveling, yeah. the Cirrus was great because oh, we were in and out of parking spots, we were up on mountains, but now that we're living, the lack of space became, I guess, more, more pressure on us. So we needed a way to alleviate that pressure and a fifth wheel is the compromise between a house and an apartment. My feeling is that I think for me, the way to travel is in a truck camper. I feel like uh, towing this, I, I wouldn't want to do that. I just feel like it's I do. so, <laughs> well, you can do it. Yeah, you, I love towing you stuff. go for it. I feel like a, a truck camper lets you go to so many more places than this thing. You have to like find an RV park, unhook, drive around, come back. But I feel like with a truck camper, there's so much more freedom there. There is. I think I'd be excited about taking this to the beach or maybe out in the desert somewhere. Yeah. Uh, not necessarily. I don't really want to go RV park to RV park. We yeah. like our boondocking. And actually, in the future video, I'll explain this camper is is kind of perfect for boondocking. Yeah. It has a 5,500 watt generator with 30 gallons, actually 60 gallons of fuel and 160 gallon water tank, which hey. is perfect. So yeah. we could go for like two weeks and have all the comforts of home. But cover that in another video. Yeah. So now let's walk to the bedroom and bathroom area. Let's see. This is our spacious <laughs> bathroom. It's so big. Um, we have a fairly large shower. I would say it's probably what, normal? It's 30 by 60, yeah, which so is a normal... standard uh, fifth wheel shower. Yeah. It's really nice, really big. So it has a lot of shelves. I love it. And we have a nice little sink. Um, and it has two we entrances. Have, we have two entrances. Two entrances, yeah. Look at that. Two entrances. This is our bedroom. Yeah, it's kind of weird to have a regular bed now. We're so used to having this wooden, I don't know, frame, whatever we, you call we it. We call it our wooden friend. <laughs> well, Scott would have his wooden hamper thing In the and I would have mine. And I'm kind of used to that. I'm not, I'm not used to having like a blanket folded down. It's so weird. We both like the fact that we could kick our legs out onto this like cold wooden surface yeah. and now we can't. Yeah. Weird. Also, when she might move towards the center of the bed a little bit, it gave me a space to lay on the wooden part. Are you trying to and tell me that I'm stealing your blankets and I'm invading your space? No, you were looking for warmth oh, and yeah. I was looking for cool. So that's why I call it my wooden friend because I would <laughs> kind of sleep half on the wooden hamper. Yeah. But now I can't. Now I just fall off the bed. <laughs> It's also nice to have a normal hamper. Yeah. We didn't have that in the stairs. We just had our little bag. It worked, but this is definitely nice. Huge improvement in space. Yeah, a lot of space. Most people downsize when you move from the house to the fifth wheel. And for us, it's the opposite. We're, we were so kind of confined in, in a truck camper, but now we have a fifth wheel. It's like a step in the, I don't know, in the right direction for us. More space is nice. I almost forgot. This is a 2018 Grand Design Momentum 354M. I think it's the only year they made that specific model. Uh, but again, I'm gonna cover all that in another video. Uh, we have a, a slide out wardrobe. His and hers. His and hers, which is nice. We have places to hang all of our, our shirts now. It's better than having to fold and roll everything. Got storage, nice bed. It's a queen size. All right, so now it's my turn to show you, I guess, the man cave. Really, it's the, the garage section and it's a mess. 
So we, we put all of our normal stuff into the rest of the fifth wheel, but anything that we haven't had time to organize has gotten piled in the back here. And I really needed to come up with a quick place to work on my computer, so that's what I have here. What I'm really excited about with this is the, this framework here, you can watch the bed. So this goes up and down, and my plan on that is that the, the seat's gonna come off and go into storage, I'm gonna buy a tabletop. And then I'll be able to put a chair here and the treadmill. Because of all my back issues, I really need to be able to stay moving. So even just walking like this is better for me than sitting. So the plan is, is to get a desk in here and a treadmill. And the idea for this toy hauler bed design is actually from Changing Lanes. They built an amazing office in the back of their toy hauler, and that's kind of my inspiration. So that's kind of my goal in the future, but it's probably gonna take me another month or so to get that done. For now, we have this. The rear gate folds down into a ramp or into a deck, and we haven't actually used that yet. It's been kind of cold and rainy lately. So we're excited about that. We'll have a nice outdoor living space, and we have a washer and dryer. They have a great laundry facility here and we still use it because it's actually they're bigger machines but this is really nice you have a quick load of like dirty dish towels or something like that you can throw it in there it's quiet and we have it all enclosed in here it's really nice for us to have our own laundry facility so we said that we're not done with truck camping and we're going to explain that now We still have our Cirrus, but we are going to sell it. Kind of sad. We spent three and a half years in here and we absolutely love it. After all this time, we still think it's like one of the best campers we could have bought at the time. Yeah, we were uh, absolutely amazed by how well it held up. Uh, we've looked at a ton of fifth wheels. A ton. And I would say 99% were like kind of falling apart. Yeah. Like they were only what, three-ish years old and they were falling apart. Yeah. A lot of it, people don't take care of it. Yeah. But this thing has held up remarkably well. Everything still works. Other than recocking a couple joints, it's been more or less perfect. We couldn't be happier with the purchase that we made, what, four years ago. Yeah. And it's been definitely, it's been uh, an emotional <laughs> decision for me. I just, I feel sad. Um, it's definitely, it's been a great home to us. We've been very, very lucky. We've had great memories, great um, experiences in our series. So our main goal was to offer our camper for sale to our YouTube audience before we list it anywhere else. If you guys are interested, please send us a message either through Facebook or uh, email, which is gonna be info at stonyboot.com. I'll leave that on the screen. We just finished cleaning it all up and there are two options. We can sell it as is with the 1200 amp hours of lithium batteries, dual DC-DC chargers, and all of the other little storage modifications, the office. We have our little pull-out teak table. Um, but I did set this up so that all of this can be removed and put back to the way it was right from the factory. We actually have fresh out of storage. This is the cushions for the dinette. These are just the brackets that I had to remove in order to put all of this in. We have our lagoon table, which is like unused. Um, so I can put all of that back. A few months ago, we recorded a video about selling this, but then everything happened to us and it got delayed. So if all goes well, next week, I'm gonna be releasing the video that kind of shows the whole camper for sale. The only difference is in that video, we still had all our stuff in it. Mm -hmm. And of course now it's, it's empty. We are selling this, but we're not done truck camping. You wanna let the, the cat out of the bag? We, we got, got a King Star. Star. All right, so as you can see, oh, go ahead. I'm just gonna say that many, many of you have hinted on it and you've asked us about it. And at that time we couldn't say anything. It was still kind of in the works, but we're super excited. So we have a, a brand new King Star and there's a whole long story to this that isn't gonna make it into this video. I do have other videos coming out, including my fairly epic trip up to Michigan to pick it up. On the way back, I got stuck in that, what do you call it? The polar vortex. Yeah, the polar Historic. vortex. So my second or third night sleeping in this, it was negative 14 with 40 mile an hour winds. So it was quite a journey to get it. And uh, so far we love it. We've had it for almost two months now mm -hmm. and we haven't had any time to do anything with it. Lots to talk about with this. There's a lot, a lot going on. We'll have to share all of that news in a future video. One step at a time. We have our, <laughs> our truck, our Kingstar, our Cirrus in the cargo trailer. And then down here, we have our momentum fifth wheel. We call so we, it the compound. The compound. So we have a lot on our plate. We have to get 
that put in the storage, had to clean it for sale, get the fifth wheel livable, got to move the Kingstar, and I need to store my trailer. So we've just been super busy, and that's why we haven't been able to make any videos. It's been a lot. I have several videos partially made, but I never had time to finish them. In fact, this video was supposed to come out last week, but then when I was sitting down to edit it, I realized I didn't like it because she was working. <laughs> yeah, I was too busy working, so now we finally had time. So we're both in the video and we can make it better. We realized this is kind of a, a pivotal moment in our lives. It's a big transition yeah. from what we used to do to where we're going in the future. And me doing it alone just didn't make sense. So I wanted to make yeah. sure that Sasha was with me. So now you guys kind of know what's been going on. All right, so that's the main news. We'll, uh, we'll head back to the fifth wheel and talk to you there. So just to satisfy some of your curiosity, I'm just gonna do a quick walk around. Uh, again, momentum fifth wheel. Two entrances. We've been using this rear entrance as our mud room because it keeps all of the sand and mud and dust out. It's pretty good shape for 2018. Barely been used. We can take all of our shoes off in here. And that way it keeps our main living area nice and clean. Yeah, less cleaning. Has three ACs, which is great because we can run the two ACs that aren't in the bedroom, which keeps the bedroom nice and quiet, mm -hmm. but still nice and cool. Yeah, that's our summary. We've been super busy, but hopefully now uh, we'll be less busy. So we'll have more time for videos and more time for life. Not just work, work, work. I'm excited because, I mean, having a fifth wheel opens up opportunities for us to do other things, different yeah. types of uh, videos and things like that. There's a lot of improvements I need to make to the fifth wheel itself, things like stabilization and water filtration and all of these fun little toys to play with. But of course, now we have our Kingstar and there's a lot of stuff that I want to do with that. Yeah. Obviously, there's a reason we got one and we'll explain all of that in a future video. Now we have to get back to our chores, which includes doing some work for the campground and we need to move the Cirrus and the trailer into storage. Yeah. So stay tuned for our next video. It's probably going to be about our Cirrus. It'll explain all of the little details and we'll do, I think, a final rig tour where we show everything yeah i think so uh, with some updates so make sure to stay tuned and if you guys are interested in buying it make sure to shoot us a message we're not going to post it on rv trader or facebook or the Sirius truck camper owners group yet we'd rather have someone who has been following us who's interested in it that wants to go off and go boondocking yeah get it because it's it's a good setup everything works in it we've taken very good care of it and we'd really like to see it have a good home yeah do you realize that we have lived in that Cirrus longer than we lived anywhere else. Yeah. Our first apartment was a year and a half, a year and eight months. Mm -hmm. Our second apartment was a year and a half, year and eight months. Yeah. And we've lived in this yeah. three and a half years. That's why I think I'm so like ingrained in Cirrus. It's been really good. It's been a good home to us. Definitely. I think that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye guys. <laughs>